Hi and welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to use Electrum Wallet. So let's begin. Electrum is one of Bitcoin's most popular wallets. The main advantages it has are beginner usability and expert functionality. This step-by-step -step video will introduce Electrum with examples highlighting the most important features for beginners. You don't need previous experience with either Bitcoin or Electrum. Learning Electrum requires practice. To get started, you have to download Electrum Wallet. Visit the official website of Electrum and click on the download button. On the download page, you can see operating system specific installers and installation instructions. You can find sources and binaries for Python, Linux, Windows, Mac, and Android. Select your operating system and click on it to start the download. If you're a Windows user, then there are three versions of Electrum available. The one labeled Windows Installer is the most convenient. Click on it to start the download. Also, you can scroll down the page and you will see a Notes for Windows Users section. Read it carefully to understand the process better. If you're a Mac user, choose the download named Executable for OS X and click on it. Here we are demonstrating the download and setup on Mac, but all the installation steps and wallet interface are almost same for a Windows user. Once the installation is done, double click on the downloaded file to launch it. If you're using Windows, you have to run it as administrator. If you're using Mac, you will be asked for a confirmation to launch the application. Click on Open to start the installation. This launches the install wizard. Electrum gathers configuration data from a wizard when run for the first time. Its first question regards your method of connecting to a server. Although you can connect to a trusted server, and that's what's recommended for secure use, if you're a beginner, just allow Electrum to decide on a server. So select Auto Connect and click on Next. The next screen prompts you with the text, this file does not exist. The wizard offers the default name for the wallet as default underscore wallet. Accept it or you can change it to whatever you want to rename it to and then click on next. The next screen offers a choice of four types of wallets, which are standard wallet, wallet with two-factor authentication, multi-signature wallet, and import Bitcoin addresses or private keys. The default is set to standard wallet. Leave this option selected and then click on next. The next screen asks about the kind of key store to create. A key store is the set of signing keys you will use to make Bitcoin transactions and it is controlled by a seed. Select your preferred option or leave the default option, create a new seed selected and then click on next. The next window displays your seed. Every wallet has an individual seed, so the words displayed in your window should be different than those in the figure below. Write your seed on a piece of paper. Don't print it with a printer. Once you have written your seed, click on Next. The next window asks you to type your seed. Click inside the text area and type the words of your seed. When you have entered the correct words, the Next button will become active. After typing in your seed, click on the next button. On the next screen, you have to create a password for your wallet. Electrum can encrypt the copy of your seed stored to the disk. If your computer ever gets attacked, an intruder obtaining Electrum's files will be unable to decrypt your seed. You may also encrypt the entire wallet file by selecting the Encrypt Wallet File option. Doing so encrypts all wallet contents, not just the seed. This protects not only your money, but your privacy in the event of an attack. For now, leave the password fields blank and then click on Next. On the next screen, Electrum will ask your permission to check for an update of your wallet. 
it has been recommended that you should always use the latest version of Electrum Wallet. With this, the installation finishes. Electrum should present its main screen. The circle in the lower right corner should be green or if you are connected through Tor or VPN, it will be blue. If it is green, then you are ready to start using Electrum. Otherwise, you will need to configure your network settings by clicking on the circle. In the bottom of the left corner, you can see your wallet balance. To create a password for your wallet, click on the lock symbol in the bottom of the right corner. Enter your password and click on OK. Next to that, you can see the preferences icon. From here, you can change the settings and preferences of your wallet. You can see the tabs of General, Transactions, Lightning, Fiat and Open Alias. The next icon is your Seed icon. If under any circumstance you forget your Seed, then you can click on it to see it. Next to this, you can see a green icon. This is your network's status. Click on it to see the number of nodes connected, number of blockchain blocks and connected server. From the proxy tab, you can also use a proxy server for your network. On the home screen of your wallet, you can see four tabs, which are history, send, receive and channels. The history tab will show all the sending and receiving transactions made by your wallet. The transaction will initially be marked as unconfirmed under the history tab, indicating that it has not been added to the blockchain yet. A transaction added to the current block has one confirmation. A transaction added to the preceding block has two confirmations and so on. Also, transaction details are available by right-clicking the unconfirmed label. Adding a description to this payment will help you identify it later. To do so, double-click the description field of any transaction and add a descriptive label. Next is the Send tab. Payments can be sent to anyone with their Bitcoin address. Enter the Bitcoin address of your payee in the Pay To field, which can be manually entered or pasted from the clipboard. Next is the Description field. Adding a description will help you identify the payment later. Next, you have to enter an amount. The total amount of the transaction is the sum of the sent amount and the transaction fee. Electrum issues a warning in the form of a red amount if the total transaction amount exceeds the wallet balance. Once you have entered everything, click on the Pay button to initiate this transaction. Next is the Receive tab. To receive a payment, you'll need an address. Click on New Address to receive one. Enter a description in the description box to identify the payment. Enter an amount in the Requested Amount field. Select the expiry for your request. You can select the options from this drop-down menu. So this is basically how to install and set up Electrum. And this guide has covered the essential tasks every user should be comfortable with, which are installation guide, wallet setup, sending funds and receiving funds. That brings this video to an end. We truly hoped you liked it. For more such videos, make sure to stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.